for today's mechanism we can clearly see the diagram on the top left that point B is going to move around this imaginary circle point A is going to be free to move point C is going to be free to move but it's going to oscillate around point D so point D is a fixed pivot point cannot it can rotate but cannot move point C is going to oscillate around D B is going to go around the circle and A is going to be free to move. So A is also the locus path that we have to find. So to set up this drawing what you're going to do is we know we're going to start by drawing the circle and it has a radius of 22. Then you're going to divide it into 12 and then you're going to measure from O to E it tells you it's 32 so from O to E that distance is 32 so another 10 millimeters past or beyond the circle. Then you're going to draw a construction line straight down in order to locate pet point C and that we know that AB to BC to CD they are all 58 so this line segment from A to B from B to C and from C to D are all 58 so then you draw a construction line down you set your compass to 58 you put it on B you swing and where it collates with this construction line coming down you can mark it down point C and then to get the line segment CD, all you have to do is take your protractor, measure 45 degrees, and that will give you that line, and you mark down 58. Right, so they're telling us that the point B is going to rotate anti-clockwise around, so I'm just going to take the liberty, so this will be B2, B3, B4, and so on. Now the only reason why you actually need point D for this exercise is so that you know you can use that as the pivot point for your compass. So you can take your compass, which is still set to 58, you can place it on D, it should line up with C and then you can draw a curve that runs through point C to mark down your other points. You can clearly see that on CB it's going to oscillate around point D. Right, so once you have this curve set here on the right side, all you have to do now, because remember that BC and BA are both 58, so all you have to do is you take your, your compass, and we're going to go around anti-clockwise, starting next on 2. So you're going to go to point 2, and you can mark it on the curve. So you can clearly see that this point is set here. So technically, if this is C1, then this will be C2. Right? So then you're going to draw a construction line from C2 through to B2. So you go from C2 to B2 here, and you can draw a construction line through there. So there you can go C2, B2, and then because AB has the same distance of 58, you can only put place it on 2 again, mark it down on the construction, And there you can see point A2. So this would be in effect B A2, so that's A1, A2. Alright, so then the next step, you take your 58 in your compass again, you go to point 3 or B3, mark it on the curve. So this would be the equivalent of C3. So C3 has to go through B3. You draw the construction line, then you take your 58 again, from B3, you mark it on the construction, and there we have, we have the next point, which would be A3, so A1, A2, A3. If you rinse and repeat and follow those steps, you'll have all the lookout points in no time.
So it's complete. All you have to do is to go back to the loci and you have to plot the point with a French curve or flexi curve and you're done.